What's up, you guys? Danita with BootyBands.com, and today we're gonna to be doing a resistance band workout to really bubble that booty. Again, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification down below so you get notified of the next workout. All right, let's get started with our resistance band workout to really help that booty. Let's begin. So grab your booty band, whether it's a level one or level two for your warm up. We're gonna start into the crab walk, so sit into a nice good squat, booty push back behind you, and all the weight is in those heels. And we're just gonna step back and forth, staying into that squat nice and low, and really pushing those knees out against the band. Keep that core nice and tight, and make sure you're breathing. Kind of giving you a different angles here. Good, now right here, hold it into a nice wide squat. Toes are slightly pointed out and you're just going to push against that band in this squat. So stay nice and low and just push, push, push. Good, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna push and then we're gonna go up onto those toes, so working those calves. So push out and then up, out and up. Keep going. Feeling that booty already on fire. If you are doing it right, you're really gonna feel the booty right now. Good, little breather. Take 10 seconds of rest and then we're gonna go ahead and start that all over again. All right, you can jump up to another level of band if you wish. And let's begin. Great work, all right, we're gonna just go ahead and squat and pulse out, push, push, push. Stay nice and low, you're gonna let it burn. Remember to try to keep those knees more over the ankle than you will anything. Just try to really sit it back, keeping all the weight into those heels. Awesome work. Whew, I'm feeling it. Okay, here we go. We're gonna push out and then lift up on the toes. Out and up. If you need to hold onto a chair for balance, that's okay too, because you're definitely working your core to hold your balance right here. Oh my goodness. All right, take a little breather, walk it out. And then if you dare, let's go to a third level. Oh my gosh, I don't know if my booty's gonna be able to handle this. Oh, I'm already on fire, so we're on level three now. Level three. Same thing, you know the drill. Let's begin. Nice and low. Push those knees out, core is nice and tight, and you're breathing. That's it. Hold the squat and just pulse. You're gonna wanna stand up, I know. Stay low. All right, now tell failure. So out and up, out and up. How many can you do until you literally drop at this point? Out and up. Oh, that was my failure. All right, take a nice good little breather, grab some water if you need to. Good little break here. Keep going. Okay, next round, we're gonna go ahead and put that level one on. 
as we start our next one. All right, let's go ahead and begin. So in the tabletop position, keep your core nice and tight. So how you do that, just push that belly button up towards the spine. You're gonna go ahead and center um, you either the left or right leg doesn't matter center it into the midline of your body so that the other leg can go out and we're gonna kick it back to at a diagonal reach it back in and then back to the knee so up out in and down good stay nice and controlled keep any swaying away and just really focus on squeezing the glutes here Good, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and kick it out, up nice and high. We're gonna try to take the heel to the booty, kick it back down and down. Here we go. Up, in, out, and down. Take it up, in, out, and down. Now just pulses up at the top, push it nice and high. That's it. Now let's go ahead and go to the other leg. All right, here we go, next one, kick it up. Take the heel in, take it out, and down. That's it, up, in, out, and down. Again, keep that core nice and tight, nice, firm core. And finalize with those pulses. Flex that foot, push that heel right up towards the ceiling. Good, take a little breather, send the hips back, rock them out. Love it, all right, let's go ahead and now do that same thing. Second time, but this time, go ahead and add a little different band. A little more resistance into that booty this time. Good, take the heel up, in, up, and down. Beautiful work, let's go ahead and switch to the other side. Hey. 
Is anybody's booty burning as much as mine right now? Oh my goodness, okay, take it up. In, out, and down. And pulse it out. I don't think I did the other side, so let's go ahead and make sure we pulse that other one out. Pulse it out. Oh, sit it back, a nice little stretch to the booty. We're almost done. Last round coming up as we now switch into a different band, and this time we're gonna go to bridge. So you'll go ahead and lie it all the way down onto your back. All right, this one is awesome. You wanna make sure that you got that C curve going on, so you want to tilt your hips and kind of roll your tailbone up off the floor. From there, you're gonna push the heels into the ground as you squeeze your hips up. From here, you're gonna push the legs out, bring them back in, and then roll down. Before your tailbone hits the ground, you're gonna go back up. Make any little adjustment with your heels, your knees, whatever you need to do so you can start activating the glutes. You'll be able to feel it more than anybody will else be able to see it. Good, hold up here at the top and just pulse up and out as much as you can. Just keep pulsing those hips up high and out, up and out. Beautiful. And the last ones we'll end with is the um, single leg bridge. So go ahead and push one leg into the, uh, into the uh, carpet as you send the other way, other leg nice and up. Really push into it. Fight that resistance band. You can even cross that foot over the other one. Good, and hold up at the top and little pulses. Awesome work, now just switch sides. Pulse it out. Amazing work. Go ahead and just grab those knees and rock it gently back and forth. Thanking your body and your booty for filling all of that. Amazing work. We'll go ahead and end with a few of our, my favorite stretches. And then of course you can always add in some of your own favorite stretches as well. So sending that other leg over the other one, you can make it modified by bringing that other leg out, but then just kind of leaning it forward, rocking those hips bones back and forth. If you're a little bit more flexible, you can take the other one bent and just lean into that front knee. Love it, then switch legs.
Next, go ahead and roll down onto your back, going into a single leg stretch. Keeping that knee slightly bent and inching that leg closer and closer towards you. Feeling the stretch through your hamstring and through your glute. And then when you're ready, cross that leg over the other one. Bring the other one leg up so you need it. And just rock forward and back. Or sorry, rock left to right. Love it, switch sides. Cross it over, lift that other leg, and rock. Check in with your breathing. So how you feel right now with the endorphins, the accomplishment, the appreciation for our body, the gratitude in which we were able to do, taking that into the rest of our day, that feeling of achievement and accomplishment and rock yourself up to the top and have an amazing rest of your day. Thanks for joining me today. Great work. Let me know how many rounds you were able to complete by just commenting down below. And if you want to join all the rounds with us together, go ahead and check out the Booty Bands and Barbells app and make sure to subscribe so you can get notified with the other workouts coming out.